homicide if the person, the, the victim of the assault, was exercising their freedom of speech, which is protected by the First Amendment, in a way that could be inflammatory to somebody else. And this has been shown time and time and time again. This is the mindset of the liberal, that physical assault is justified. You are listening to smithradio.com. You can call in at 513-888-1538. We're on facebook.com slash smithradio. We are on Twitter at smithradio. And we are also on iHeartRadio, which is iHeartRadio.SmithRadio.com. Smith is spelled S-M-Y-T-H. So as you are searching Spreaker or wherever else for our channel, make sure that you are typing in S-M-Y-T-H-R-A-D-I-O. And we are talking about the San Jose rally, which was a complete ambush, very concerted uh, effort that worked out very well for those that were trying to turn this into a riot. And we were talking about that. So basically, this is what I saw. Tim Cass uh, showed this video, and I thought, ooh, when did this happen? Wow, this guy got bashed up the side of the head. I looked at the date and the time on that video and realized that this happened literally moments before I watched it. Like right. 10 minutes maybe. And I was like, oh, this is happening right now. So I started just – now I'm all the way on the east coast or east, eastern time zone, eastern standard time. Three hours So this later. is like 10 o'clock at right. night. So I'm like ready to go to bed and realizing way out on the west coast, things are going down. So it ended up totally ruining my night as far as sleep's concerned because I ended up following this. I was, I was uh, retweeting as much as I could what was going on, the videos that were popping up the reactions to it and all this kind of stuff. And while I'm doing this, there are actual journalists. I'm talking blue check mark Twitter journalists, well known, have been verified as who they were doing the same thing as these guys um, interviewing, which was justifying physical assaults right. for people exercising the First Amendment. And the big one, the really bad one, um, was. Paul Sikala, is, I don't. I guess that's how you pronounce his name. His uh, Twitter handle, I believe, is at p a l p a u l c i c a l a. He is the if he's still if if it's still there. Oh no! By, I, by the way, that that Twitter handle is in fact deleted. I'm thinking he did it. Right. Right. It may have been a condition to avoid getting fired. Yeah. So here's well, tell him tell him what happened. So I'm sitting here going through as fast as I can all these new tweets uh, regarding San Jose. And Paul Sicala is a sports anchor for KVOA News 4 in Tucson, Arizona. So he's just a local sports anchor. And he, he was uh, responding to a tweet by Jacob Rascon. And Jacob Rascon, I'm trying to say this slow so you can follow along. Rascon is an NBC News correspondent. Okay. He tweeted a video of a young blonde female Trump supporter who was getting surrounded. And he captured a video of her being assaulted by bottles and eggs and other objects. Dude, she had a huge yeah. egg in the side of her head. Well, uh, there are several videos, and one video I saw was right before she got hit, and then she got hit. And it wasn't just the egg. The egg hit. When the egg hit, the crowd went, oh, there was this huge reaction. It was like a bunch of animals in high school, you know, just just children that were unsupervised. You know, cops were absolutely nowhere to be found. Um so she gets hit with the egg, the crowd reacts, but then a whole bunch of stuff starts flying in and she actually gets hit right in the nose with something that was clearly not very soft because she she went from kind of having this smile on her face like, oh, you know what, this egg in my hair, I'm, I'm, a, I'm playing it off, I'm playing off. When she got hit in her nose, the smile went away and I'm just, I'm feeling so bad for this woman. So this video was tweeted by... Jacob Ra uh, Rascon, who is uh, actually his uh, Twitter handle is at Jacob NBC 
That, that's his, uh, that's his uh, Twitter. So um, he tweeted, watch, colon, the moment a Trump supporter surrounded by protesters is egged in the face, comma, hit by other food, unquote. That's what Jacob Raskin tweeted. Paul Sakala responded, hey, brother, you aren't reporting that she was taunting protesters moments before, pointing to her shirt, etc. Please be fair. Okay, okay. I came up with this analogy, and we talked about it, and it, it's not a far-fetched analogy. But what he is saying is literally because you uh, say you're a woman, and you're on the beach in a bikini, and you look great. And you all sunned up and everything, and you get up and you decide, you know, I, I need a snack or something. So you cross the street, you go out to the sidewalk. Or maybe you put on your street. shorts, which are like Daisy Dukes, really low cut, whatever. And that's all, but you don't put a and top you get the on. Bikini top, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you go across the street to buy something, and and some guy attacks you and rapes you, and his defense is, well, you you was looking like that. I, how can Look I how not? Dress. Look how you're dressed. Look how you're dressed. So, what? That is what? exactly when when I first heard that analogy, I was like, "Really? Is that the same?" And then I stopped and thought about it. This woman got assaulted for what she was wearing. Literally, she was wearing a really nice. It looked like a custom jersey. That on the front, it was a blue blue shirt with some. There was some white trim on it and some uh, red trim. So it was like a red, white, and blue shirt, but it was mostly blue. On the front, big giant letters that said USA. And on the back, right across the top of her shoulders, real big, T-R-U-M-P. Right. And they all saw this, and they all decided, oh, we're going to make her pay for that. And this guy, Paul Sakala, is saying, hey, she's asking for it <laughs> in his tweet. So immediately. And this, this guy, Paul, reiterate, this guy, Paul, works for a local small news station as he's, the a sports, pub, he's a public figure. As the sports announcer. Right. He's in the media. He's a public figure. So immediately everybody started blowing up, tweeting uh, in response to uh, his response. And I said, oh, something's got to be done about this. This guy's a public figure. We can find this guy's boss. Did he delete that tweet? Uh, yeah, he deleted it very quickly. He deleted it within... I'm going to say within maybe 10 minutes, it was deleted. Okay. But before what he did deleted you do? it, before he, deleted it, he uh, tweeted a bunch of responses to the people that were hating on him trying to justify what he said. Oh, wow. So I said, I'm, I got to put an end to this. So I found all the contact information for all the big wigs at his radio station. And I screenshot it. And the pre the president's name's right at top at the top. It was actually Bill Shaw, and I posted a screen capture of Paul Sakala's tweet, and posted a screenshot of all the contact information of his bosses. And I said, guys, contact Bill Shaw, who is his um, boss, and show him this tweet, and expose him, and say this is unacceptable. And ask for him to be fired. Well, I, that that got retweeted a bunch of times. It got uh, favorited, retweeted uh, numerous, numerous times. And it made its rounds. Very shortly after I did that, his tweet was deleted. All, all of the other uh, tweets about that particular thing were, were all deleted. And then I responded and said, hey, don't try to delete it. It's too late. I got it captured. And then... Oh, hell broke loose. Yeah, all hell broke loose. <laughs> so so I repeated that tweet several times throughout the course of the day, and then finally somebody said, Hey, bro, why don't you just go to his house and make him apologize to your to your face? And I thought, why would he say that? So I did a little investigation. Turns out he apologized. Yes. And uh, we have the soundbite of him apologizing. Let's hear it. Well, tonight I would like to apologize to you and our entire community for a tweet I sent out about a Trump supporter who was attacked at a rally. Clearly it was insensitive, disrespectful, and something yeah. that I deeply regret. I want everyone to know that I accept full responsibility for Do the you? tweet. And I'm very sorry that it offended many of you. Plain and simple, I was wrong. I made a mistake. So please accept my apology. And please know... It will never happen again. Thank you. 
Uh, right, maybe you. I'm nitpicking here, but he said uh, he's sorry that it offended you, not me, that they I offended. All, but they always say that though. If if I offended you, if I offended you, no, do, no, dude. no, no, no. He said if it if, offended. If, if you. this it, tweet, this this tweet has nothing to do with me. But if that if those letters <laughs> put together in a specific sentence. <laughs> and those letters offended you because of the way they were mixed up. <laughs> hey, yeah, my bad. My bad. My bad. I'm sorry that you're offended by it. Right. They're just letters, man. Why but do you hate say, me? please forgive me and all that? Me personally, I just said, you know what? The fact that it went this far to where not only, oh, by the way, I went back to his uh, Twitter handle and it, everything's deleted. All, every tweet wow. he has ever made is gone. The profile and his profile pic are still there. I think that might be a glitch in Twitter because when you when you click on it, it says this this uh, page or something like that no longer exists. So I'm assuming he deleted it. I'm not sure if he deleted it because he personally was like, you know what? I'm done with Twitter. Or if his boss said, hey you got to delete your Twitter account cause it, or else you're fired. Well, yeah. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> dude, I can't even imagine how PC, like in the, in the environment where we work in every day, think about your job and where you work at and how PC everything is today. Like telling off-color jokes. No, 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 no. Uh, hanging up pictures that are a little bit racy. No, 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 no. And the thing is, is... This is his mindset. This is what he believes. He believes that when somebody is flexing their muscles while wearing a T-shirt, which is that's what she was doing. She was doing the arm, the fists up in the air with the, the, the flexing my biceps gesture. Right. And then she turned around to face the back that her back was facing the crowd and held up the corners of her shirt to show off the Trump sign. Right. And she was smiling. Clearly. The response to that is to assault her, right? Oh, yeah, correct. Which is exactly what they did. And and when you look at that and say, yes, that's what you must do. We must assault people that do that exercise their first amendment rights. That's right. got to – you, you got to <laughs> check yourself. you got to totally check yourself right. on that. So uh, the guy that, that Trump – and this just coincidentally, the guy that Trump called a sleaze, oh. his, his name's Tom Lamas, he actually reported correctly – on this riot, on yeah, the San we, Jose riot, we need this is very a very good verbal description of what happened. In case you're wondering, go ahead and this was one of the most violent scenes I have ever witnessed at a Trump rally. At times, it seemed like the police had no control of the situation. People were getting beat up right in front of them, and these were not clashes; these were pure attacks. Trump supporters, men, women, even the elderly, left this building last night and walked right into danger. Overnight, all-out brawls outside the Trump rally in San Jose, California. Trump supporters harassed, beaten, and bloodied by mobs of protesters. They're like spitting on me and stuff. This man says he was sucker punched, his clothes torn off his back. Like seven more people just come in and start punching me. Carl, I look pretty bad. This lone female Trump supporter tried to stand her ground. Her sign torn from her hands, her glasses ripped off, then shoved in her face. A woman wearing a Trump jersey cornered and then egged in the face. Nazis go! Oh! Fights Nazis! breaking out in the streets all over the convention. Inside, Trump spoke to a large and welcoming crowd. We're going to build that wall, don't even think about it. But outside, protesters accused Trump of being a racist and hunted down the people that support him. Another fist fight's about to break out right now. Trump's order is being fumbled right now. That man eventually fighting his way back to police. At another point, protesters followed this couple, violently harassing them, then storming the parking lot where they tried to escape. Protesters shaking cars and smashing taillights. Drivers forced to hit the gas to get out. Police were there, armed in riot gear, but from what we witnessed, reluctant to initially stop or engage the protesters. Then this, a young man running in fear from protesters, then getting tackled before breaking free. We point him to police. This Trump supporter walking with his wife, spat on, bottles thrown at them, then punches.